Hi, this is Nerfinator again with another Nerf review. This time I'm going to be reviewing the Nerf Instrike Mega Centurion. So, here it is. The Centurion. Um, if you remember when this thing first came out, it was the very first Mega Blaster. It's a Mega Sniper. Really nice blaster. Um, let's see, down to review, it's uh, pretty comfortable. The stock is kind of kind of like a rapid strike stock. My cat's my cat's kind of messing around in the kitchen. Um, it's bolt action. Um, the two clinks you heard was. The first one was the plunger rod slamming forward. The other one was the priming chamber slamming back. Getting ready for the next start. And our cat is still goofing around in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> let's see. The aesthetics. Uh, Nerf did pretty good on the paint job. They've got, it says Centurion. Right here in a nice black lettering. <laughs> See if we can get that on camera there. There we go. And then we've got Mega and Nerf. And it actually says Nerf and Mega on both sides. They've even got a little Instrike Elite logo on both sides. But they don't have Centurion on both sides. As you can see, this is the left side it's not there. It's kind of engraved on that side but it's not in black lettering. Um, you've got this giant jam door right here on top. Of course bigger jam door for bigger darts. Um, speaking of darts, the darts it comes with are the regular Nerf Mega Darts and uh, funny fact Nerf actually used to use Mega Darts a lot what is that cat doing? Um, but I found that the Centurion actually blows the Mega Darts apart. Like, literally, the head goes flying out and the dart just kind of coasts out the end of the barrel. So, what I use instead are the Busby Mega Darts. Pretty nice. Here's the clip that this thing takes it's a six dart Mega Clip. The darts slowed in just like this. So I'm going to load it up real quick. And then we're going to get to the firing test. Firing test, we're going to do just um, accuracy pretty much. Because um, everybody knows already that the Centurion is really powerful. So no need to expound upon that. That cat is just going nuts. Um, so, all loaded up. I'm going to point at the camera at the door over here so you can kind of see where I'll be aiming. I'm going to be aiming at these three um, windows one, two, and three. And I'm going to shoot the middle one three times on the last one so you guys can see how accurate this thing is and how consistent but I'm going to shoot one two and three all in a row so here we go this is the firing test for the Nerf Mega Centurion window one That one went a little funky, but I still like it. Like this. I don't know if I hit that one or not. It's being a little funny tonight. All right, that one I hit. 
Alright, this is the middle window second time. Okay, there we go. Last start. And I just barely missed. I guess I'm not quite the shot I thought it was. But it could also be the gun. I don't know. So, back to the review. Um, that was the firing test. Um, let's see, what have I got left to talk about? Oh, yes, sling attachments. It's got four, one, two, three, four. Um, I actually kind of like this because you can kind of do like a backpack style kind of thing. You have one sling here and then one sling here. So you can kind of carry it backpack style on your back. Which is nice, especially in like a long nerf for you want to store this thing somewhere. So, uh, yeah. It's got two tactical rails, if you're wondering about attachments. So you've got one here on the bottom of the barrel, and then one here behind the jam door. Um, in the way of sights, it's got two built-in iron sights, one right here in front of the jam door, and then one right here close to the end of the barrel. And they line up pretty nicely. Um, one last thing that I'm going to note. Uh, this is a really nice blaster for like spray painting and stuff like that. Um, I've seen some pretty sweet paint jobs with the Centurion. Um, as far as modding goes, I you can if you want to, but it's already blowing its own darts apart, so it's not really much point. But if you want to, you can. It's up to you. Um, of course, there's just the usual mods. Um, I'm not sure how you put a bigger spring in this thing because it's got a pretty big spring in it already. Um, aesthetic mods, I've actually done one myself. Uh, you know how when it comes in the box, it comes with the barrel already detached and everything. And, uh, and uh, some people like the barrel on just because it looks really cool and it looks really cool. But... Um, other people sometimes want it off because they're indoors and the big barrel kind of gets in the way. So what I've done is I can now do both. Removable barrel. Um, this is not an easy mod. You have to take the gun apart and uh, remove, let's see what was it, three or four different latches in this hole right here. And... Uh, then you have to actually go through and take out latches on the barrel itself. Um, that's just if you um, don't want it to uh, uh, like click into place as hard. So it'll still um, it still stays on there pretty good. I mean. It's not coming off unless you like pull it off yourself. But it definitely comes in handy in um, indoor wars because it's shorter. So you can sit here behind the corner waiting for somebody and get them. It's pretty nice because then you don't have the extra bar barrel section getting in your way inside. And then if you want to go outside and do the whole sniper thing got your barrel again. So yeah, that's pretty much been it for my review on the Nerf Mega Centurion. Hope you liked it. Um, like, subscribe, comment in the comments below. As always, all that stuff helps out. Um, the comments help me uh, see what you guys like, what you guys are looking for in videos. Um, so this has been Nerfinator, signing off.